In a recent video, I talked about the homing switches I installed on one of my CNC machines and how I set up my soft limits. I had some questions about why my machine's soft limits were negative numbers, so I thought I would go into a little more detail and try to explain the different soft limit settings. Let's take a look at something you probably learned a long time ago in school. Well, at least it was a very long time ago for me. Here is an image I drew up of the Cartesian coordinates. It shows the positive direction and the negative direction of both the x-axis and the y-axis. For example, in the upper right quadrant of all the values will be positive, and in the upper left quadrant, the x-axis value will be negative, but the y-axis value remains positive. In the lower right quadrant, the x-axis value will be positive, and the x-axis value will be negative. And of course, in the lower left quadrant, both the x-axis and y-axis values will be negative. You might remember making Cartesian coordinate graphs back in geometry class. Okay, so let's take a look now at how this applies to my homing switch setup on my CNC and my soft limit settings. Here is an overhead image of my CNC machine, and you can see that when I home my machine, it will go to the back, or in this image, upper right, and now the machine coordinates are X0, Y0, Z0. Notice the column labeled Home In, which is shortened from Home Negative. This column is asking if you want your machine to home in the negative direction with the check mark meaning yes and the X mark meaning no. Notice that I have an X mark in the X, Y, and Z because I want this machine to home in the positive direction or to the back right. For my soft limits, this machine can move the X axis 38 inches in the negative direction from the home zero before it will run into the side of the upright. Likewise, the y-axis can move 26 inches in the negative direction before hitting the front of the machine frame. You'll see these negative volumes in the soft min column. Now let's take a look at how the settings would look if this machine homed to the lower or front left like my Avid CNC does. Right off, you'll notice that I now have a check mark in the X and Y column because now I do want the machine to home in the negative direction to get to the front left. You'll also notice that the values in the soft max are positive, 38 inches in the X, 26 inches in the Y. The Z axis remains the same with a negative value in the soft min column. This is because you always want the z-axis to home in the positive direction and raise up and not go down into the table. Okay, while we're here, I might as well show you the other two examples of homing locations. In this example, the machine will home to the lower or front right corner of the machine. Notice that the x-axis has an x mark in the home negative column because it will need to move in the positive direction to find home. But the y-axis has a check mark because it will need to move in the negative direction to find home. You can see the different values in the X and Y soft max and soft min to use the correct soft limits. And finally, here is an example of the machine homing to the back left corner of the machine. Again, you can see that a check mark is in the home negative column for the x-axis because it needs to move in the negative direction to find home, and the y-axis has an x mark because it needs to move in the positive direction to find home. Okay, I hope that clears up some of the confusion about homing a machine and setting up soft limits. I probably should tell you that these examples are showing Mach 3 control software, which I have been using for years, but the settings will be the same in different control software. Remember, CNC machines are not smart. 
They only move the way you instruct them to move. So it's really important to understand the settings and what they mean so that you can get them set up correctly. I haven't said this in a while, but I want to thank all the folks that watch my videos, especially the ones that have been subscribed to my YouTube channel for a long time. There is so much great content on YouTube that if you take a few minutes out of your day to watch one of my videos, I really appreciate it. Please hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching.